Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. It is another glorious bagel Sunday. Again, their website is down, so I'm going to go fight the crowds to get bagels. It's already 82 degrees, and it feels pretty wretchedly humid. I think today will be a good day for me to just sort of do stuff around the house, because last night I was, f like, whooped. And I think it was heat exhaustion because it was brutal out yesterday. And I didn't realize how much I had actually been running around doing a ton of stuff that I never really sat down and relaxed. And then when I finally sat down and relaxed last night after, after we had dinner, thank Zeus, I'd already had the video done before I made dinner because I was just, ugh. I didn't even feel like surfing the internet. That's how bad it was. All right, I need to go order bagels. I don't know how long this is gonna take me. Bagels gotten. It did take a while. They were pretty busy, so gonna go home and snarf now. Okay, I don't know how close he's gonna let me get, but can you see the lizard? He's a big one, and he doesn't seem to give a shit about me. We are going to measure this door once and for all. Okay, so it looks like inch and three quarters on the width of the door. It, I guess the length doesn't matter as long as it's over 31 inches, 31 and a half, uh, because I got to cut it myself anyways. So off to Home Depot again. Okay, so what I had to do was basically cut this. I had to remove this portion right here. It was that brass gold colored shit and it was screwed on just with a couple of screws. These are just, like I said, they're held in place by friction. And if you put them all the way up where the other one was, which is butted up to the door, then it doesn't, it doesn't block it at all. And that's pretty much what was happening with the other one, which just means this wasn't put together correctly. And there's just always been this big gap on the, the bottom of the door. So now by closing that down, now you can see there is no gap down there. I mean, there's a little one in the corner, but it is pushed down so that it's blocking under there. So that's all stopped and it'll stop all this crap from coming in too. So, all right, one project done. All right, kids, it is scorching out there. And even the simplest thing like walking from the front door to the truck is brutal. So obviously I finished the door and again, just by pushing it down a little bit, it kind of does the job. At least it does the job more than it did before because there was clearly a huge gap there and that's why lizards and shit were getting in here. So hopefully that keeps them out. Right now, it feels like it's 4,000 degrees out. It's incredibly, incredibly humid out there. It's stifling and it has been since I walked out this morning. So I'm done with the outside. I'm not going anywhere else. I'm not doing anything else outside. In fact, I wouldn't even have my shirt on if I wasn't filming. That's how bad it is. And I've got the ceiling fan on. I'm just trying to cool down. That's pretty much it for the projects for today. I wanted to get the door done, which I did. And in the meantime, I have since taken this A74 apart and put it back in its cage, got everything together, and then I went back out to the Forerunner to make sure that it all fit. There's almost no clearance to get it to slide into it. And once I get it in there, then I can turn it around. It rubs a little bit just on the DJI receiver. So that's a success. Now I have the cage back on there and I have the cage on there to fit as a camera with no grip. Obviously, if I put the grip on there, there's no way that it would work. So that's it. This is how this is going to sit for now. Also for now, because it's been so bright and sunny, I'm going to keep the 16 to 35 G Master on there, not the 14. Because again, when I put the 14 on there, there's no way for me to put filters on there. And I'm not dicking around with putting the filter, like having to cut out the little piece of film and stick it behind the, the, you know, the lens and all that shit in between the lens and the camera. I'm not doing that. When I take the 14 millimeter out, it's going to be when it's a little bit more overcast. And or if I'm probably like going on the road and I want to film like in the hotel or something like that. And I need to go down to 1.8 because 2.8 isn't enough to do shit at night. Not that I go out at night anyways. I'm not really up on going in strange places at night with, you know, a six, $7,000 camera setup. <laughs> I 
So, all right, that's pretty much all I've got for you today. There's no point in me rambling on. I took you around a little bit, but I am going to like completely cool down and I got to eat lunch because I'm so hungry. And then I got to start on laundry because everything is just filthy from this week of being so hot. So that's it. That's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.